Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. Today's article is about the Bermuda Triangle. So I hope you like mystery, something that is unsolved. So I don't know if you're familiar with the Bermuda Triangle, but it's an area around uh, Florida in America. So it's in the southeast portion uh, around the Atlantic Ocean. And this is an area that a lot of strange events have happened in history. So solving the Bermuda Triangle mystery. So Bermuda is the area and the triangle is the shape and that's the area where a lot of unsolved mysteries have taken place. So we'll find out what that is about. So today let's look at our article. Have you ever heard of the Bermuda Triangle also known as the Devil's Triangle? It's a 3.9 million square kilometer stretch of ocean with the triangle's corners as Florida, Puerto Rico and Bermuda. This region is infamous for its fatal accidents and mysterious disappearances of planes and ships. So region is the area. Infamous means it's famous, but not for a good reason. So if something is infamous, everyone knows about it because it's tragic or it's something very sad or dangerous. So infamous, famous for a bad reason, for its fatal accidents. Fatal means life taking. So it means there's death. Right? So people have died, accidents that are resulting in death and mysterious disappearances. So planes disappear without a reason, right? Along with ships. So a lot of those have happened in this area known as the Bermuda Triangle. During the 20th century, it is believed over 1000 people have gone missing or died in this unknown death trap. Kind of scary, right? From aliens to methane gas eruptions. This region has puzzled scientists and conspiracy theorists for centuries. So scientists are confused. Conspiracy theorists means people who believe that there's something bad going on, that it's not just what we think it is, but maybe someone has an evil plan. The people who believe in that or who believe that that could be true are known as conspiracy theorists. Uh, so for hundreds of years, there have been a lot of debate, a lot of people talking about what really is the problem, what's really going on in this area. The secret of the Bermuda Triangle remains one of the world's greatest unsolved mysteries. However, meteorologist Randy Cerveni from the University of Arizona claims to have found hexagonal shaped clouds, which could be the key to the mystery. So meteorologist IST is a person who does or studies. Meteorology is the study of the weather, right? So is a scientist who studies the weather. His name is Randy Cerveni. And he claims to have found, so he says that he found a hexagonal shaped cloud, right? Hexagon is a six sided shape. Okay. So a pentagon is five. Hexagon is a six sided shape. So he found uh, clouds that are shaped right in with six sides, which could be the key to the mystery. So let's find out what are those. He these hexagonal shapes over the ocean are in essence, air bombs. He said, these massive clouds shoot down microbursts of air towards the ocean, creating 270 kilometer per hour winds and 14 meter ocean waves. So he said, this meteorologist, this weather scientist says that these six sided shaped clouds over the Bermuda Triangle are causing uh, massive clouds. So massive means very big and they shoot down microbursts, very tiny uh, bursts of air toward the ocean. So what does that do? These tiny bursts of air create uh, high winds and very high waves. And that's the result of uh, these microbursts, uh, clouds and the air that it goes onto the ocean. And that's why maybe all these accidents are happening. Okay. So he said these air bombs, Okay, are only a theory. So still these air bombs are only a theory, an idea. It's not fact, right? It's a, it's a explanation or an attempt at an explanation. So more research must be done to unlock the true secrets of the Bermuda Triangle. So I remember when I was younger and I used to like to read mystery books, I've read a lot of books about the Bermuda Triangle. There are a lot of planes missing that have never been found, ships missing that have never been found. So there was a great uh, unsolved kind of scary mystery surrounding the Bermuda Triangle. But scientists have come forward because they want to solve it with science. They believe that we can explain it, that it's not just something we should be afraid of, but there's an explanation. So Randy Cerveni, a meteorologist, believes that it's the, the hexagonal shaped clouds, which cause these air bombs that could be the main reason for all of these mysteries and accidents taking place. I'm not sure a lot of people still debate. 
Maybe it is a uh, kind of cursed area or maybe it's just explained by uh, extreme weather. Well, whichever the case was, that's pretty interesting. So let's look at our comprehension questions for today. So after reading the article, let's complete these sentences. Uh, what is the nickname of the Bermuda Triangle? So we know that it's called a something triangle. So what kind of triangle? Whose triangle? So we see that possessive there, the apostrophe S. So whose triangle? The devil's triangle because they see and they feel that a lot of uh, evil things or mysterious scary things are happening. So they call it the devil's triangle as its nickname. Let's look at uh, question B. What are the three regions adjacent to the Bermuda Triangle? Adjacent means connected to or in front of. Okay, so what are the, what are the areas, uh, what are the countries that make up the Bermuda Triangle? It's a 3.9 million square kilometer stretch of ocean with the triangle's corners as something, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda. So the, the country or the part that's missing is attached to the United States and it's Florida. So Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda. Okay, so those are the corners that make up the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, let's look at C. According to meteorologist Randy Cervani, meteorologist, scientist who studies the weather, what could be the key to the mystery? He said, what shaped clouds? Did we say a triangle shaped clouds, square shaped clouds, um, pentagonal shaped clouds, five sides? How many sides? We said it was six. And if it's six, it's a hexagonal uh, shaped cloud. So that's pretty interesting. I've never seen uh, a hexagonal cloud so or uh, a pentagonal cloud so that's kind of an interesting phenomenon a, uh, interesting event uh, let's fill in the blanks it says this region is blank for its fatal accident so fatal accidents means accidents that cause death or result in death so this region is blank for its fatal accidents and mysterious disappearances of planes and ships so this region is, if it's known for a bad reason, we said it was infamous, right? So if it, infamous means famous for a bad reason. Uh, B, during the 20th century, it is believed over 1,000 people have gone missing or died in this blank death trap. So death trap is uh, the noun. So what kind of death trap? We need an adjective. So it's an unknown death trap. So it's mysterious. We don't know much about it. And the last question. The blank of the Bermuda Triangle remains one of the world's greatest unsolved mysteries. So what about the Bermuda Triangle? Do we know a lot about it? No, we don't. So the secret, the secret of the Bermuda Triangle remains one of the world's greatest unsolved mysteries. So as we have read today's uh, article, we know that there's a lot of mystery surrounding the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed today's article and now we will wait for more results and more research to be done so that we can understand this great mystery of the Bermuda Triangle. I'll see you again next time and hope you do well.